Commute Smarter, Not Harder, presented by Commute Smart Raleigh. Today we will learn about scooter safety. Micromobility mania has hit Raleigh. Micromobility refers to lightweight transportation options, such as bikes, and in this case, scooters. The city has contracted with several electric scooter share companies. Scooters are available to the public, and they are a fun and efficient option for a quick jaunt across town. You can also use scooters for getting to and from your bus stop or parking space, which can get you to your final destination quicker. To use the scooters, start by downloading the Scooter Share Company's app and creating an account with your smartphone. You can do that with any or all of the operating companies. Once you're set up, you can unlock scooters and even see where the closest available scooter is. After you activate the ride of your choice, familiarize yourself with the brake and throttle. The throttle handle will get the electric scooter going once you kick it off. Be sure to check your scooter's battery on the display screen before starting your trip. Depending on the model, scooters can reach up to 15 miles in distance. Scooters are available to rent between 6 a.m. and 11 p.m. any day of the week and are charged overnight. Do not ride the scooter on the sidewalks for everybody's safety. Scooters can reach a speed of up to 15 miles per hour. Please ride on the right-hand side of the street or in a bike lane and obey all the traffic laws as you would when driving a car. When you have completed your ride, follow proper parking etiquette and leave the scooter upright near the curb or in a designated parking area so you do not block the sidewalk or cars. Keep in mind that many people are unable to navigate around scooters safely, so please don't block their way with a scooter. Also, don't forget to lock the scooter back up again with your app so you won't be charged more than you need to. Other things to remember are, you must be at least 18 to ride, please wear a helmet to protect yourself from injury, even though the shared e-scooters have headlights, it is still recommended to ride in daylight and it is always safer to wear bright colors and reflective gear. And of course, be courteous and have fun. If you have any questions on how to safely enjoy one of the city's shared e-scooters, please contact us at commute at raleighnc.gov.